What's up, y'all? Uh, we just signed Marcus Mariota. I know that's not a beautiful sign, but I, I'm thinking they only did this because Marcus Mariota resembles whoever they're about to get in the draft. And I'm thinking this is going to par- probably be Jaden Daniels. And that's because of his play style. Um, it could be Caleb Williams, too, as well. I mean, they both run and pass. So, I mean, it's not it's not far-fetched to think that it could be either or. We're still in debate about um, who's going to get picked because it seems like the Bears might not be getting rid of uh, Justin Fields. So um, we may be having to make a very, very, very difficult decision and get in um, Jaden Daniels or Caleb Williams. And um, some people think that Marcus Mariota uh, is going to be that veteran that we, I mean, at this point he's going to be because we're paying him $6 million for the year. And we don't have Jacoby Brissett. Uh, and Jacoby Brissett went to the Patriots, so we're not going to get him. Um, and the Patriots signed him, and I think uh, Jacoby is going to be a starter. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to pick up anybody else, but for, for now, I know that he's going to be a starter. And, uh, you know, they just got rid of Mac Jones. So Mac Jones went to the Jaguars. So it seems as if Jacoby is going to finally get that opportunity again to be a starter. The last time he was a starter was when he was with the, the Browns. So him and Antonio Gibson went over there. So we're going to see what happens, man. And um, I'm also looking forward to this season because it's different. It's very different. We don't we have we don't have majority of the same people. Like majority of the people we had are gone. Um, we just got rid of a lot of people, bro. Like we and by by me saying that, it doesn't mean that those people haven't had another opportunity to get resigned. It's still some space and time. For them to get re-signed but for the people that were here before it's a it's almost a different defense over there like we 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 pretty much don't have most of the same people um we just signed some new people um and the offense is definitely changing and a great example is uh, of that is that we got austin eckler on our offense like i'm excited for it you know um i don't think it was needed uh i think we could have kept Antonio Gibson, uh, but um, and then we could have paid him way less. But um, I'm just thinking about. I'm just looking forward to the dynamic um, play style we about to have, and you know I'm excited for the quarterback that we we're going to probably bring in. Uh, at this point, just looking at Mar- Marcus Mariota and just looking at. How he probably is the is an example of who we're about to bring in. Uh, we know that our quarterback is going to be mobile. We know that for a fact. And uh, man, if I had to choose, I know that um, they probably waited too late or didn't make that offer in time or just don't have a great relationship with this person. But in my opinion, I would have got Tyrod Taylor, and that was just mostly because of the fact that. Tyrod Taylor has been to a Super Bowl. He understands how it is to play on a Super Bowl team. He knows how to learn from um he's played with so many teams. So and so did Marcus Mariota, but you know what I'm saying? Like he also has made it to the Pro Bowl and I think that was with the Buffalo Bills. And it's just I I feel like Tyrod Taylor has a lot to offer. But he went to the Jets. The Jets got him. I'm not sure um how much money he got offered but i felt like we should have been in the bid we should have at least gave him something you know to you know suffice i'm sure he may have went made more than um what we offered marcus uh he probably we offered marcus six million and uh he may have got way more than that and um you know i was just thinking like for all that we could have gotten um russell wilson who does the exact same thing and has been to the Pro Bowl nine times and the Super Bowl twice and won once and almost won twice. But you, we go out and go get the wrong person. I don't understand it. Um, Still, still, I still feel as though this is a great move. But I was thinking, like, why not get Russell where uh, Russell may have not wanted to come here, but still, 
I ain't hear anything about an offer, nothing. I ain't hear nothing. But they, I mean, of course, I heard offers that, okay, he was going to the Giants and then he was also going to the Steelers to their facility. But I didn't even hear about us even having him come in, nothing. When I ain't hear no talks, I would at least put out a statement saying we talked to him, something, so we don't feel crazy. But I'm going to let these people do what they're doing. They're doing a great thing. Um, They got some good people, and I hope that they come ready to play game day. And uh, I, I know this is going to be a way different team than we had before because um, Adam Peters, Josh Harris, they're not putting up with any anything that doesn't look like top tier. I'm going I'm to tell you that. I can tell they just getting rid of people. And, and then, of course, it makes sense because – it's a new regime, and, you know, they want to make sure that they're putting their best foot forward. So I understand that part. But, man, um, if it was up to me, I probably would have gave Russell Wilson a $1, $1 million deal and um, just see what happens. But, um, man, we're going to see what happens in, in, this, uh, in this free agency. And it seems like most of the people we wanted um, or I heard talks about, you know how we heard talks about, us wanting to get um, Patrick Queen. People were talking about we may be going to go get Patrick Queen. But Patrick Queen went, o- went over to, um, I think, the Steelers. Yeah, the Steelers just picked him up. So that's another person we don't get. But, we, you know, we got a good person, Frankie L- Luvu. He, he's a good player, you know. Um, and I think he'll be, if we decide to make him the Mike linebacker, I think he'll be great at that. Um, but, yeah, like I said, um now that the, now that we have Marcus Mariota, what are we gonna do with Sam Howe? That's the question. That's what we all been trying to figure out. Cause at first I thought he was just gonna be our backup, but then they brought in Marcus, and I'm like, what? But I understand it. It's the it's the name of the game, but it's no way we're gonna have three quarterbacks and have Sam just sit there. It's no way that's gonna happen. And the the next question is. Who's going to start? Is it going to be Marcus? Is it going to be Sam? How? And then knowing that we pay Marcus Mariota $6 million, he's starting. Sam Howe ain't getting jacked. He ain't even finished his rookie deal yet. So, and then the fact that we're bringing in a quarterback is, is another question. Like, what, what is going to happen? What is, what's the next move for us? So, I feel like we may be trading Sam Howe. I feel like Sam Howe may be going to another team. Um, not sure who it is just yet, but it may be before the draft. And, um, it seems like it could be, um, shoot, he might go to the Jets as well. Um, or he might go to the Patriots to be a backup. I don't know, but it's so many teams that probably still need a backup quarterback. And, um, you know, the the further down the line we get, um, we'll figure out who those teams are because it seems like everybody's getting their people. Um, and shoot, Sam Howe may be going to the Vikings to be assistant. But yeah, um, let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think this was a good pick? You think we should have got somebody else like Tyrod Taylor, or we should have went out and got Russell Wilson when we had the chance, or just get, at least gave him an offer? But yeah, though, um, I'm out.